Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to start out by saying I am on auntie duty today. I have my niece, so you're going to hear her in the background of the video. I apologize in advance, but so um, there is going to be a little bit of noise, her talking in the background. Um, if I see her, there might be some cuts because if I see her in the background, I may have to cut it. But I just want to let you guys know from the beginning that she will be <laughs> in the video. So I wanted to do a video showing some of the things that I got for the Sephora sale. I got a couple of new things and I also got some stuff from Chanel that I wanted to try out. I have um, the Chanel Le Beige's, um blush in the color Deep Bronze. And I also have... Um, Oh, that's all I got from Chanel. I thought I got something else. Oh, no. I had a sample of the, what is it called? The water something from Chanel, the foundation. I tried it. It was like literally teeny tiny, so it wasn't even no point. But I did pick up from the sale the um, Westman Artelier foundation. It's like um not the heavier foundation. Like, what's that stuff from Fenty? Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> this is... So... What was I saying? It's like a um, mo uh, tinted moisturizer from Westman Atelier. Um, I picked up a Huda Beauty powder from, what's the color? Kanufa, Kanafa. Um, I had this before, back when her powders first came out. I hated it. But I ended up seeing a video, I forget... Um, it was like a TikTok or something like that, where a girl put it on top of her Laura Mercier. So I'm going to use that on top of my House Labs powder. I also picked up um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drop. I picked up the Patrick Ta. She wants to be in the video. I picked up the Patrick Ty Major Dimensions number two. I have the first one. I wanted to try the second one. It looks so, so beautiful. Um, I have a mascara from Gucci. <laughs> um, and I picked up the Air Flash Radiance Mist from Dior. So I don't know what this does. Maybe it's like a finishing spray. I'm going to figure it out. But if you guys are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Join our little community. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. I'm so glad you are enjoying the content. And if you want to see a full face of everything I got from the Sephora sale, plus a little outside extras, keep watching. I got this baby in my lap because as soon as this camera turned on, she said, no God, honey, I don't know what you thought, but I'm fitting to get up in here. So now I have to film with her sitting on my lap and this is get ready to be a whole scenario because she wants to grab and touch everything here. Nothing that she can grab. She don't want that. She want everything she's not supposed to be touching. So. We're going to start out with the glow recipe, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I also got some lip pencils from Huda and One Size Beauty. I'll see at the end which one I want to use for the look because I like both of them, the color. I don't think I have anything new for a lip, so I might use the Mario. Um, what is this? The Soft Nude again because I got some thoughts on this that I want to share with y'all that I didn't know the first time. But as me wearing it and using it. I came up with some stuff. So let's start with the watermelon dew drops. Child, that was gonna keep her quiet. Now she's chewing on the Mac Fix Plus. Now she got. I'm also going to do these the Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I ain't use this in a minute. So I also seen on TikTok, speaking of Fix Plus, that people were using the Fix Plus first on top of, 
underneath their makeup instead of using it as a finishing spray. So let's see how that goes. So I'm going to go in with the Westman Atelier Tinted Moisturizer and I have the color X1. It's very liquidy though. I hope this is the right color. Let me use my brush to blend it in. This looks really... I like this. This looks really pretty, but I'll tell you one thing about it, though. If you use this, you better have bomb skin because all this is doing is evening out my skin tone. It's not a bit of coverage on this stuff. But my skin looks beautiful though. So next, I don't know if I showed you guys this before. I didn't get this on the sale. I picked this up beforehand. I got the... um Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Honey. Y'all, I forgot how good this concealer was. This concealer is amazing. I forgot. I've been using the NARS, and I'm still a NARS girl, don't get me wrong, but I had to pick this up again, and I ain't put it down since I got it. This is like, I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes so I can get a little bit more coverage on it. But this Westman... It's not bad at all. I'm actually liking this a lot. I'm going to, um, the next time I use it though, I want to use my hands because I want to see what kind of finish it gives me with just me using my hands as opposed to a brush. Okay, so I had to fix the light because I don't know what was going on, but it seemed like I was blue or something. So this is better. So I'm going to blend out my concealer using the same brush I use for my um, tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to take my House Labs powder and the shade Golden. Where's your Brian? Where's your Brian? You want to get in the video with Auntie? <laughs> so now I'm going to take a little bit let me make sure this is all brushed off. You pay adding powder on type of powder in it. Okay, crazy mess. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Huda powder and Kanifa, whatever it's called, and dab a little bit. Y'all, she's showing out over here. Any other time, sis pays me no mind. She plays with her toys. She over here see me filming. She's showing out. Okay. I mean, I guess it looks smoother. I guess, y'all. So I'm going to do my brows really quickly. This is the boring part, so I don't really show this one. But I did get um, from the Sephora sale the Benefit Pencil Precisely My Brow in the color six for my brows so i mean i like it i feel like i see a little bit of like smoothness i like it so now what i am going to do is i want to go in is it me or was it nothing on the sephora sale really to get don't it seem like we got everything maybe it's just me i want y'all to tell me what y'all were able to get on the sale if anything because I i'm lost I was sitting at the cell like, well, what the hell am I supposed to get? It's, it's, I got everything. There's nothing really that new that came out that was exciting to me. So I was just like, oh, let me grab something because, you know, we're here. What the hell? So I want to do this um, Patrick Ty Major Dimension. I don't feel like going into none of this cream stuff. So... 
let's go in with child I don't even know these colors I'm going to assume this is heartache this color right here on the end my baby said that's right that's the color oh. this Westman is nice I just wish it was a little bit more dewy that's right that's right and you tell them auntie says she want her skin a little bit more dewy it's summertime even though i did put a little bit of powder on my forehead because i don't know what be going on sometimes my foundation be breaking up on my forehead this color is pretty minimal fallout it's not bad so i want to go in i want to assume this is devotion this color here, right on top of the other one, but just a little bit lower. She want to be up here with me, so. Meanwhile, that's Spanish, so she want to sit up here and tear up all my makeup. Mm -hmm. So I want to take some of passion. I hope I'm saying these names right because I, I can't really tell you and sit it on the lid oh. yeah. yep just like that pretty okay so then I'm going to take I'm going to go back to Hardy and I'm going to run it on the bottom of my eye my lash I'm so sorry. Trigger warning for anybody who does not like kids. I don't see how you don't like kids, but, you know, the noise and stuff may be a bit much for you. I apologize, but this is my baby. She's not going anywhere, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to rock with it. Ma'am. So, because he has a lot of shimmer, I was just going to leave it like this, but I think that I want to add a shimmer on top. Just to see, just to see what it do. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss. I got makeup on. I don't even know what this is. Zero six. So, I want to use this one, but for some reason, I'm really gravitate. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see. I want to use this one, but for some reason, I'm gravitating towards this one. So I'm gonna use. So. I'm assuming one, two, three. This is lust. I might have to use my fingers. It's not really coming up much. Oh yeah, no. I have to use my fingers. Y'all gotta see how she got this table tore up. Like, I, I literally just cannot do. Is it doing anything? Oh, okay. I see it. It's not a lot, but I see it. It looks pretty till it starts transferring all on the top of my lid. Get your butt off. She, I put the palette down. She went right for it. Okay. So, I think I am going to, what are we using next, boo? What are we using next? What are we going to do next? Y'all, guess what I forgot? Pat McGrath. All right, I have, can you even see this? I mean, it's better than nothing. I have this Makeup by Mario um, Soft Sculpt Shape and Stick in Medium. Yay. This is technically my sister's. So that's probably why you can't see a thing. And she done used it down to the white meat. It don't even turn no more. So let's see. Child. This white girl, this whiter than my foundation. Bye. This ain't gonna work. Y'all, it's a dark color inside of this. 
let's see if maybe this is I'm not even gonna tell y'all no more because I don't know. This is a dark color. Let's just see if this works as a bronzer. If not, this video get ready. Take a turn. Girl, this a mess. Child, I don't blended that stuff out. This ain't no bronzer. We just right before go to bronzer because I don't have. So next we are going to try this blush from Chanel. This is in the color Deep Bronze. And this is one of the ones, this is like the La Beige or La Beige's Water Fresh Blush. This is the color. I went to the Chanel store and it was like a kiosk little store type of thing. And they had all these color blushes in there. I don't know. Well, I know, but none of them colors. I just wasn't, I just wasn't feeling them at the time. I may go and do like a a redo or something there but yeah this was the only one that actually showed on me that didn't look ashy or crazy so we're going to use this with what is this this is a morphe e4 child this is my sister brush girl she done monkey glued she done monkey glued the uh Okay, so it's liquid and it has little pearls and stuff in it. And I guess it mixes with the oil or whatever that's in there. So we're going to drop a little bit on. Okay, I'm going to put it on my hand first. Okay, let me put a little bit more on my hand. This feels so like, y'all, this is pretty. This feels so cooling. Like it has something else in it other than just like the pigment or something. I gotta read because this feels so good on my skin. Y'all, this is beautiful. Let me see. Let me see if I can put. Girl, that look better than what I had on there. Okay. Okay, Chanel. This feels so good. Like it's so like um, what's the word? Child, I don't know. It feels good. The lighting is changing. This I can't even do. I'm sorry, guys. Please bear with me. I'm, I promise you one day this is going to be a professional channel because the way my lighting and the shenanigans in the background be going on, like I can't even do. I, I promise you one day this is going to be a professional channel. It blended out. so, And I like this brush, whatever this is. This E4, I got to see if they still make this. I like the slanted -ness. Like It was easy for me to blend this out and get this on because I use... I don't know if you guys remember. Um, I don't even know if they still do this. Remember they used to give you gifts for VIB Rouge? This is 2018, this little rouge brush. This is what I've been using for my blush lately because I love how soft it is and the bristles aren't so densely packed and it like feathers out my um uh blush. And I've been really liking it, but I seen this sitting here. So I said, let me use this. And I like this a lot. But this hair um, blush from Chanel, this one, this is it. I like this a lot. I wish they had, I'm going to really go try some other colors, guys, because I was, I don't know, maybe it was the mood I was in at the time, but I wasn't feeling nothing that was in there. Like, those colors were, like, too peachy, like, ashy, peachy. It just wasn't even, like, a beautiful flush for, like, the summer. Like, I don't know what was going on. And when I was, the colors was just... 
like I'm not sitting this on my face. That's what they look like. So they, they, I want them to do a little better with the colors, but I would definitely go back and try it again in a better mindset. But so far, I'm liking, I'm liking everything so far. So I have in lip pencils the One Size Beauty and Coin Collector, and I have the Huda and Rich Lip Contour and Rich Brown. So this is the One Size Beauty, and this is the Huda. All right, my love. With this look, I think I want to go. I think I want to go with the Huda. The Huda is a little softer. Let's go with the Huda. So I'm going to use the the Makeup by Mario um, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color in Soft Nude. Okay. So my thoughts on this: the color is absolutely beautiful. I love it, especially on black girls with a lip liner. Ain't no pumping. Not that my lips need to get any bigger, but I'm going to tell you something. I got this because of the color. If I didn't read that this was supposed to be lip plumping, I would have never known. There's nothing plump about this color formula, nothing whatsoever. So, yeah, like, I don't know if we need to go and, and redo and add a little bit more spice or whatever it is y'all use to plumping on the lips. But, yeah, this is cat because ain't no lip plumping and nothing going on. I get more lip plumping out of the buxom than I do this. I If I didn't read this, I would have never known this was supposed to be lip plumping. Also, too, the color is, again, beautiful. You won't have it on your mouth for two seconds. I don't know why I didn't return this. Maybe because I love the color just that much. But it's like, literally, you don't got to drink. You don't got to eat. All you got to do is put your coat on or, or put your sneakers on and go outside. Color's going. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he tested this or he just liked the formula and was like, yeah, put this out. But it, it don't last. Like, look how beautiful this color is. I ain't even did nothing and it's stunning. It's a really thin formula. It feels good on the mouth. It's not like tacky, sticky. It's very soft and pillowy. Like, I love the formula. It just does not last. It's just, I don't know, like, as soon as I'm done with this video, by the time I'm done with this video, my mouth will be white. Like, it's nothing on here. It just, it does not, it doesn't stick. But I love the formula. It's, I don't know, y'all. So, I am going to use for my lashes um, this Gucci Mascara. Eve Black, child. I can't find my glasses, so this is how we're going to do this. Y'all, didn't I have this before? I could have sworn I had this mascara before. Did I get robbed? Well, it looks pretty. Let's see how long it lasts, because I'll have... Mascara on and it'd be bomb and just like the lip color, child. By the time I have a seat, it, it done all evaporated. Like already, you can see my lip. I'm just gonna wait. It's not the best mascara I've ever used in life, but it's not the worst. I actually like it. I think it looks really pretty, and I like how it opened up my lashes a little bit. I usually, this is going to sound crazy because I know a lot of people hate it. I, I kind of like clumping mascaras because I don't have lashes like that. Like my lashes are almost non-existent. So I feel like the clumping and the thickness of the mascara like gives me, you know, a little more body or like you can see it. So I don't really like just lengthening mascaras because it doesn't, you know, like, okay, they long, but they long and skinny. Like, you can't see nothing. But this, I think it looks really, really, really pretty. So, I'm liking this so far. Um, I don't know. Oh. So, this is the, oh, primer and setting spray. Okay. I wish I would have did this before I put my, my, um, I can just slightly close my eyes. Okay, I'm good. So, we're going to use the, um, Air Flash Radiance Mist from Dior, medium to dark skin tones. 
It has like one of those little balls in it. So you shake it up. Mm. Y'all see that? He's gonna... I don't know. I don't know if I see anything, but what I do know is this Chanel, this Chanel, um, this Chanel blush is beautiful. And I'm going to tell you what else I love about this blush. It has a sheen to it. Like you ever put on like, okay, the Danessa Myricks, the cream to powder. I love this, uh, this blush. And I'm just not into powder blushes right now, especially in the spring and summer. I like cream everything. But this right here, I love the sheen that it still has. Like, and it still feels a little dewy. But also, too, it transfers a little bit. So be careful with your clothes because apparently I've had this on for maybe 10 minutes now. So apparently it does not dry down. It's going to stay um, dewy, which I don't have a problem with, especially, you know, for liquid products. So this is the finished look, guys. I'm so glad you made it to the end of the video with us. Um, again, my baby was in the video making noise throughout the entire video. If you are triggered by noises or you don't like baby noises, I apologize, even though I don't know why anybody wouldn't like baby noises, but you know, you don't want to discount people's feelings. So, you know, I apologize if the video was distracting. I'll use that word. Um, because my baby wanted to be a part <laughs> of the festivities and my makeup table is a mess. But, you know, we got through it. So some of my thoughts on some of the products, the Westman Artelier, this stuff is like, I want to say 68 or $78. Is it worth it? I, I'm 50-50 on it right now. I feel like my skin looks absolutely amazing. My only critique so far, I don't know how it wears yet. I just wish that it was a little bit more dewy. It's not as like radiant as I would want it to be, especially for a tinted moisturizer, especially for $78, $68. I want to say, girl, it might even be $80 something dollars. I don't remember. And I don't have my phone um, with me. It's on the charger for me to look up all these stats. But yeah, for that price, I want it to be a little bit more dewy. The Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2, love it. If you have the first one, you don't necessarily need the second one. To me, it's just a amped up first one. Like, but it's not, it's not necessarily a necessity. If you have the first one, you don't need the second one. This, this one's fine. This Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Rich Brown, pick this up. Love this. I'm so sorry all of this stuff is after the sale. I just, it was a lot happening during that time. So I wasn't able to get a video out. Um, I had hurt myself and I wasn't really feeling too well. So I couldn't get a video out at that time, but I managed to go online and get some stuff for the sale because I knew I eventually wanted to do a video. But this pencil, especially for my skin tone, a1. Absolute. Like, it looks so pretty. It's dark how I want it to be. I've been tearing up the Refi Se Sepia. Sepia. I've been tearing that up. But I wanted to try other, you know, I wanted to try other colors from other brands. And I'm so glad I did because I'm going to keep this in rotation too. The Huda Beauty. Oh, the Huda Beauty powder in Canufa. I'll keep this. I love it on top of my, um, house labs. I like that it was like a um blurring effect. My house labs is gorgeous. Underneath my eye is set. I don't have to worry about anything. I love it. The color matches me better than the Laura Mercier powders. So of course you already know I'm set so far with my house labs, but I am going to incorporate this Huda Beauty on top of it because I love how it looks for my under eye. Went through the Makeup Mario already, the lip. So you already know how I feel about that. But lastly, this Dior Air Flash. It's, I mean, 
I don't know if you need it. I don't know if you need it. It's, it's, I don't know if you need it. I, I can't even really give like a, a, a proper review on it because it's just, I don't know. I have to keep using it. I don't know if I see the difference after I sprayed it. I don't know if it's going to make my makeup last even longer than it already does. I don't know if it like, you know, melted anything in. If you guys see a difference after I sprayed it, let me know because I didn't see it. But you may be able to see it on camera. But I mean, I'm not going to say no. But I'm not going to be like, yeah, y'all need this because I didn't really see anything yet. So I think that's it for everything that I put on my face. Um, oh, the Gucci mascara. I like it. I like it. The wine is really prickly. That's one of the things that I do not like about it. And I feel like it could be a little bit darker, if that makes any sense. It's like it's like a black brown or something. It's not jet, jet, jet black like I want it to be. But again, this is not needed. If you use, um, what is my favorite? Uh, the Essence Lash or the Lash Paradise or something, that's fine. You don't necessarily need this. If you want to get it because it's Gucci, knock this socks off, but you don't need it. So that's it for everything that I got on my sale, plus a couple little outside extras. Let me know how you guys like this look, and I'll hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like the video. The like helps me out a lot. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Say boy. You've been yelling the whole video. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>